This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Well, it's kind of quiet in here right now, but do you know what? When I got up this morning, I think I killed 10 or 20 millers in in the window. You know, they were all trying to get to the light. The millers have been driving us crazy. Now, I don't know if, uh, and this is not the family of millers, you know, so don't anybody get excited, but it's that little annoying moth that is totally harmless, I think, but it just will drive you crazy. And they have been insane this year. They're everywhere. So I'm like, is it just me? Or are they really that abundant this year or much more abundant than other years? According to Colorado State University, they are way more abundant this year. So let's talk about those annoying little creatures and where they come from, what they're all about. According to Colorado State Entomologist, it's moth season. No one had to tell me the flying nuisances are everywhere. Millers, so named because of the dust they leave behind, just like someone milling wheat or corn, are an inch or so long, brownish gray, unremarkable little creatures. Most seasons they go virtually unnoticed, but after four years of especially low numbers, they have come back with a vengeance. The miller is the adult stage of the army cutworm, and while the miller is pretty harmless, its larval stage is not. Cutworms can damage crops and already have in western Kansas and Nebraska and eastern Colorado. The good news, the miller does not lay eggs in your house, nor is it eating Granny's afghan. It is just going to annoy you by flying around the same light you are using to read or your computer screen. To keep the creatures at bay, seal obvious openings around the windows and doors, Turn out as many lights as possible. An easy trap to make is to suspend a light bulb over a bucket partially filled with soapy water. Always use a grounded plug and extreme caution with any electrical device near water. The best fix is probably your kitchen sink, which already has a light above it. Just fill with soapy water and turn the other lights off. Millers are attracted to the light and often will fall into the water and drown. Or you could take the fly swat and give them some encouragement. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. 